Nielsen with five. Neal centers it. Hardwick left side. Off now to Aguinla. Wrist shot. Glove save. Has. And the Bruins win. They sweep the Pittsburgh Penguins. Stick of Malkin is the Latang pass. Malkin trying to sashay by, and he got it on goal on a save made by Lepin. He scores! The head now to Crosby. Get out of the way. Crosby. No, no, he fired. He scores! Goodens nicely up the wing. It comes to Crosby. He's got Malkin breaking through the position. He scores! How are we doing guys? Moose here and welcome to a new series that we're going to be starting on my channel. Uh, this is going to be an NHL 15 career mode. I'm a huge uh, hockey fan. Obviously I've been playing the NHL series since I was, you know, it was NHL 90, 97 or whatever way back in the day. Uh, I've been a hockey player all my life and obviously I wanted to translate that into a series here. So with NHL 15 now of course coming to next gen, I'm going to be doing a Pittsburgh Penguins uh, career mode we're going to start off. Obviously, if you are a follower of uh, FIFA on my channel, of course, with my West Ham career mode, still going to continue with that. It's going to be staying at the same pace that it's been coming out, so you don't have to worry about that. I uh, just wanted to get this Penguins career mode out as well. It's going to be something that I'm going to be adding in uh, in addition to West Ham and you know, different things that we're going to do on the channel. So that's what we're going to talk about here. Uh, obviously, this is going to be get underway with the Penguins, of course, my, my, my favorite team in the National Hockey League. I've been a Penguins fan my entire life. Uh, so with that, this is the team that we are going to be doing our career mode here in NHL 15 with. Uh, you can take a look. Obviously, the top players that they list here in the team would be Crosby, Malkin, and then, of course, Marc-Andre Fleury in goal. Uh, we see our salary players in the organization right now. Of course, we have players in the minors as well. And the average age of the team to start this career mode off is going to be 28. So... Like I said, that's how we're going to get underway here. Of course, we're going to go through the, the rules and settings here, just get things underway. And while we kind of go through that, the one thing that I'm going to explain about what we're going to do here, we're going to, of course, leave the salary cap on. Uh, I know occasionally you run into salary cap issues, but, I mean, that will keep the career mode fresh, keep players 
uh, move around on occasion as well as you know force your hand because I've seen career modes where they turn a salary cap off but then try and do it realistically just so the teams can keep their top players but then you don't really see any player movement ever from team to team besides trades so definitely gonna leave the cap on uh, we'll go with the authentic cap penalties of course uh, just because I like to keep it as realistic as I can that's really the one thing I like to do in my career modes uh, so in this be a GM that's what we're gonna be doing um, don't want to do auto sign free agents. I want to determine the whole thing. We'll just be a GM. We'll do we'll do the full 25 years just because, you know, however many years we can get through, that's what we're going to do here on NHL 15. Yes, we're going to leave CPU trades on. Uh, Difficulty-wise, we're going to start it off at All-Star. Of course, if we decide to move it up, uh, then that will be what we'll do. Game style. Uh, the, the thing I want to talk about here is what do you guys think I should do? My one strategy was going to be uh, because they took out the the NHL Game Center style simulator uh, for the game, which I thought was really just a pain because that was one of my favorite parts about NHL 13, 14 was that they had that NHL Game Style simulator um, that they don't have it now is a pain because then I do have to run through the issue of, uh, you know, either simming a game and not really knowing who scored the goals, what happened. You just get the final score, basically. Um, and the issue you run into that, obviously, is that, you know, you don't know who to scratch for the next game because you don't know what's going on. Uh, or to play every game, but then that runs into the, the time constraint of how soon I'll be able to get updates out, you know, how many games I'll have to play, how fast we'll get through the career mode. So that's kind of the one thing I want you guys to I'm going to leave this video up for a few days. I probably won't be able to get another Penguins update up uh, until the weekend just because of the schedule I have running right now as well. I'm going to get a couple West Ham updates out. Um... So let me know if you think I should just play all the games, uh, and then I'll give you highlights of a, a select game and update, but then at the end of each game, I'll be able to give you at least the box score and everything from that game. Uh, so that would be the one thing uh, that I would want to, to see what you guys think in terms of that. Uh, so let me know, obviously, in the comments what you think we should do. I'll say I welcome you to my channel if you're an NHL guy just because I've been running FIFA on my channel but I do want to do the NHL and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to see some feedback on you guys what you think you should do. we should do with the roster. We're going to look at the roster real quick here uh, once we get the whole thing set up just to get a look at the team and where we could potentially make some moves. I'll see the Penguins made a ton of moves in the off season uh, from there and then we'll, we'll see what we'll do but Turn all the rotating goalies off and everything. I'm going to control that myself because I'll just decide which games, obviously, I want Grice uh, to play over Fleury. Um, we're just going to leave everything normal, of course. One point for the OT loss, regular best of seven, all the normal things. Trade off notifications will leave on. Uh, of course, we're going to the latest tuner uh, notifications. I have the latest roster updates as well. Uh, download and everything. Uh, so we do have that, and then we'll leave the, the waiver notifications on as well. So all the settings should be good to go from here of course we have the cap penalties and the cap on and everything uh the period length changed it was supposed to be at 10 minutes so there we go and I, I don't know how be a gm length tra changed to 25 while well, the settings are changing on me here so let's just make sure we're okay rotate goalies is off back to quick settings yep 25 authentic cap penalties all star and so you can see, obviously, because I'm going through the settings right now, you can see this is a live episode, obviously. Uh, the episodes, I probably will do them live. The thing I will do when I when I highlight a game uh, in terms of the episode, uh, I'll probably just allow the, the Mike Emmerich commentary to do it, uh, or I will do post-commentary over the top. It's something we'll decide on as we get through the career mode. Uh, but that would be something you guys can also comment on in the in the comments to let me know if you think you want to hear the commentary from the announcers as they go. Do you want to hear me do post commentary over the top? Do you want to hear me do a, a regular style commentary like an announcer? Because uh, you know I actually do enjoy that kind of commentary as well. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think we should do. And uh, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna keep the salary cap on. It'll have to adjust a couple of teams. Uh, from their roster just to fit them under the salary cap, but we are going to leave it on. Uh, the Penguins right now are under the salary cap, so we're okay. They won't be adjusting our lineup, and what we'll do here is we'll get in, take a look at the team real quick, uh, and that will be all we're going to do in this episode. So obviously we'll get it underway, take a look at the lineup, what we're working with, um, and then what we can kind of do as we move forward in the season here. So we'll just wait for this to load up, and then we'll be good to go.
Alright guys, so here we are at the main menu screen. Uh, so you can see our first game will be against Anaheim to open the season. Uh, and from there, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at our roster. We'll also send our scout out uh, to start taking a look at draft picks because obviously they have got the draft back in now uh, that you'll be able to do the live draft under a time limit and everything like that. So that's what we'll take a look at. But what we're going to do, we're going to look at our team right now um, because we'll take a look at the roster. First thing we'll do, we'll be good to uh, we'll go to the, the manage roster screen just to see what we have on the team. Obviously, we'll go by roster moves just to, to list the team out uh, and then from there uh, we can see player contracts what we have left we'll do that as well just to get get a general idea of what the team is so we'll probably have a little bit of a longer episode here just to get things started I'll probably want to keep it around uh, between 10 to 15 minutes normally this one might be a little bit longer just because we are going to take a look at what we have obviously in the pipeline this is what we have in our NHL roster we'll take a look at the AHL just to see what we have after that but obviously uh, we'll sort them by overall here it's not always the best judge of how how good a player is uh, but we'll sort them by overall just to start off so obviously with Sidney Crosby uh, in my opinion not even arguably the best player in the league he is the best player in the league um, but obviously there's a ton of great players in the NHL Evgeny Malkin a fantastic player a little bit of a mer mercurial talent in that you know every once in a while he'll seem disinterested in the game but he has all the ability in the world Brandon Sutter fantastic third line center could even play on the top two lines uh, if you need him to be, if you want to push Malkin to the wing, a la the Penguins in the beginning of the season here. And Marcel Gotch, also a fantastic center as well. So a, a definitely a good crop of centers that we're looking at. Of course, on left wing, uh, we're looking at not a ton of all-star talent, but a lot of good solid depth. We have Kunitz, of course, is going to be on that first line uh, playing alongside Sidney Crosby. He's, he's a guy that's been with him. Uh, the last few years and played really well in that role of course then we have nick spalling uh and blake como a couple of new guys that came in spalling of course in a trade from nashville and como as a free agent some solid players good depth players they're good you know third line ish players uh but not what we're really looking on the top two Bo Bennett is a guy that right now he's 82 overall but he has the the ability to move up to be a better uh, you know top two line option so that's what we're going to be looking at him most likely at uh, either on the somewhere in the top two lines so then we'll move over to the right wingers here of course we'll start off taking a look at Patrick Hornfist new acquisition from Nashville he'll be playing alongside Sidney Crosby as well that'll be our first line to start the season because that's really what he's brought in to bring a guy that would bring a lot of uh, you know grit to that first line as well as to the power play units well Pascal Dupuy a guy that's coming off an ACL injury uh, he's played with Crosby in the past but I think we're gonna start him off in the second line just to start the season off and see how things go Steve Downey another new acquisition that adds a lot more grit to the team while still being a actually pretty solid scorer uh, and then Craig Adams rounding out the fourth line a guy that we might not be holding on for the longest time but will be serviceable uh, as the season goes along to start off then we take a look at the defense of course Chris Letang uh, first line player right there Christian Ehrenhoff new acquisition from uh, Buffalo free agent solid player he offers a lot offensively uh, and he's not a bad defender as well Paul Martin steady defender his contract's a little bit high for us and he's in the last year of his deal so we'll have to see what we can do with him there Oli Mott of course is a future star for this team fantastic defenseman Skidari, a guy that has way too big of a deal for the role that he's going to be on this team but he's still a serviceable player and we'll definitely have to include him in the team uh, same with Dupre, of course, rounding out that bottom six. Uh, and Bortuzzo are giving us some depth. We also have some young guys in the pipeline coming forward. Goaltending-wise, Marc-Andre Fleury, of course, is our starter. But we brought in a, a, a very serviceable backup in Thomas Grice. Um, that's going to be fantastic for us. Fleury, of course, in the last year of his deal in the game. Of course, in real life, in the past week, he signed a new deal uh, for four years for the Penguins to continue being their starting netminder. Uh, so, obviously, Fleury is one of my favorite goaltenders. I think he's actually a really, really good player. Uh, and I would not be opposed to making a deal for him. But I think the way NHL works, you, we won't be able to do that until the end of the season. Uh, unlike what the Penguins did here. So then you take a look at some of the centers we have. Of course, we have Ebbett, um, Drazenovic. So we do have some quality young players in the in the system. Jason Magna as well, who could come up if we do have injuries and could do a job for us. Not a ton in the left wing depth. I can see right wingers. We have Kasperi Kapanen, of course, was our first round pick in this past draft. So he's a guy that um, 
obviously not ready to join the team right now, but in the future could be someone that will come into the team. Defensively is where we have a ton of depth. Obviously, Dumoulin. Uh, Derek Pouillot was a first-round pick a couple years ago. That's a guy that, you know, once probably Martin moves out, he'll be jumping up into that top six. Uh, same with Harrington. is a wonderful player. I think he's really, really good. Uh, he's someone I think could actually be in the Penguins team right now, to be honest. Uh, and another guy that we have just for depth. And then, of course, goalies, we have Jeff Zatkoff in the system, who was our backup last year. Of course, with the acquisition of Grice, he's bumped down to the AHL. And then we have youngsters like Hartzell and then Tristan Jerry, who's arguably the Penguins' goal tire in the future, but it'll definitely be a few years before he gets it up into the team. So that's what we're looking at right now. Of course, we could always use a little bit more depth uh, in terms of the wingers. I think defensively we're pretty good, but we might need a bottom six uh, acquisition or pairing to make any kind of moves there would be the one thing we might have to do. So the last thing we'll do is just take a look at our contracts and the guys that are going to be uh, looking at their contracts expiring this year, signed for one-year deals and everything like that. So we'll take a look at that uh, and then obviously what we'll be able to do uh, from there. So we'll take a look at who are the UFAs coming into next season. Of course, we have Adams, Downey. Uh, so a lot of the third-line guys, Bortuzzo is a restricted free agent. Airhoff, of course, only signed a one-year deal. Same with Como. Bennett's in the last year of his deal. Uh, and Paul Martin as well. So a lot of guys that are actually in our lineup here that are going to be having their deals expiring after this year. And we'll have to have you know go through a depth process to see if we want to keep them around, what we're going to do as we move forward in the season. So obviously, let me know where you think we need to improve any deals that you think we can make right off the bat uh, and what we'll be able to do there. But that's going to be it for this uh, episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Be sure to comment uh, and let me know what you think. Subscribe so you can get future future episodes here. Let me know, do you think, should we uh, should we continue doing the one goal or one game uh, in episodes? Should we sim all the games I'm not playing? Should I play the games and just give you the stats in the background? Uh, let me know about that as well. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, uh, we'll see you, obviously, in episode two in a few days' time here. So thanks, guys.